Hey there, welcome to Solve My Math Homework, where the YouTube channel that solves the problems our subscribers submit. All right, so we have a conditional probability problem involving uh, choosing things from a jar without replacement. So the important thing here, this is conditional probability. Conditional probability means that the event or the second event that happens depends on what happens in the first event. So the probability of the second event happening is dependent. So we've got this uh, jar containing eight white balls, four red balls, and one black ball. If I were writing this problem, I would call them marbles, but I just read it the way they come in, so what can you do? Two balls are drawn at random and not replaced, and they want you to find three probabilities. They want the probability, so if we get our little pointer here, they want the probability that both balls are red, so you're gonna choose one, it's red, you choose a second one, it's red. Then they want the probability that you choose red and then a white. Remember, you didn't put the red back before you chose that white. Okay, and then the third one they want is you choose white, you keep that out, and then you choose a black. Okay, so let's get into what this means. We'll give the definition, we'll make sense of the formula that's probably in your book that makes no sense. But conditional probability, remember I said probability of two events where that second event depends on what happens in the first. And the formula is ugly. It looks like this garbage here. It looks like this, okay? So let's talk about what this actually means. That little probability of A upside down UB, that just means the probability of A and B happening, okay? And then, so the formula says it's the probability of A times this probability of B slash A. B slash A means the probability of B considering A already happened. It simply means that you have to say, okay, I need the probability of B, but B has to be calculated knowing that A already happened, something specific already happened. And here's another thing I wanna point out. Anytime you have the probability of something and something else, so A and B as opposed to A or B, you are going to multiply. So let's keep that in our minds, all right? So let's get into this. We have the first thing, and I've kind of simplified it on the next screen. We have eight white, four red, one black. I've got the formula up here, but we're really not gonna use it, it's just for your reference, okay? So the probability that both are red. So what I wanna do is I first want to make the probability of both things. So probability of A happening, okay? Let's see, we have eight plus four, that's 12 plus one, we have 13 total. So remember, probability is, the numerator is the number of times the thing you want to happen can happen, and the denominator is the total outcomes. So there's 13 total marbles in this jar, and only eight of them are red. Nope, only four of them are red. Okay, so four out of 13 is the probability of A happening. All right, so the next thing is probability of B. So let's look at the probability of B. Probability B is also red because both are red. So our probability is not the same. Remember that A already happened. So what has happened? I picked a red marble out of this jar. I've set it aside. So there are no longer four red marbles in the jar and there are no longer 13 marbles in the jar. There are now three red marbles because I've chosen one out and I didn't put it back. And then there are 12 total, okay? So we have four thirteenths and three twelfths. So let's go and multiply these. Let's actually do something to help ourselves out a little bit. We have 4 thirteenths times, instead of 3 twelfths, if we divide both of those by three, we get 1 fourth, right? And then we can go ahead and divide out here. You can go ahead and multiply if you want, but I really wouldn't. Divide four goes into four one time. When you multiply fractions, remember we multiply straight across, and we get 1 over 13th as our probability. Okay, so we're gonna do this two more times and the, the process really isn't going to change much. We're just gonna change those probabilities that we find. So let's go to the next screen. All right, this time we want the probability that there's one red, we keep that out, and then when we go and choose another, we get a white. All right, so let's do the same thing we did before. Probability of A happening is, well, there's four reds. Remember, this is a different situation, 13 total. Probability of B happening, all right, well, we're choosing a white. We haven't chosen a white yet. So there are still eight in the jar. So there's eight, that doesn't change, but there are no longer 13 in the jar. There are now only 12, okay? 
So 4 thirteenths times 8 twelfths is how we're going to do this. And remember, I really think you should simplify these fractions. Don't make ugly fractions, don't multiply ugly fractions if you don't have to. So let's say 4 thirteenths times, and instead of 8 twelfths, we're going to go ahead and divide both by 4 and get 2 thirds. Okay? And then we're going to, now we can multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. 13 times 3 is 39. Don't believe you can simplify that. That is our answer. Okay, let's look at the last one they asked us to do, part C. All right, it wants one white, so I pull out two marbles. Remember, one white, then one black. And this, because we're not replacing it, it doesn't matter if they asked us to pull them both out at the same time or pull one out and then not replace it and then and pull another one. It literally doesn't matter. So we pull out one white. So what's the probability that we get a white marble? Well, let's look. That is eight possible white marbles out of 13 total. And the probability of the second thing happening, let's see, it's a black marble. There's only one there, so the probability is one but remember, there's not 13 anymore. There is 12 because we've taken out that white marble and we have it set aside. Okay, so I can't simplify any of those. So I'm going to go ahead and just multiply. So 8 thirteenths times 1 twelfth. So multiply straight across. We get 8 and then 12 times 13 is 156. 156. I could actually divide that by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 156 divided by 4 is 39. And I don't know why my pen's not working. So 2 39ths is that last one. All right. Apparently my pen is on summer vacation already. I really apologize. So remember, conditional probability. It's the probability of the first and the probability of the second, but you have to take that second probability considering the first event already happened because that first event affects the second event. And if it says the probability of A and B, multiply. If it said A or B, you would be adding them. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, I only solved this problem because a subscriber sent it in. So if you're doing your homework and you have no idea how to do your problem, send it to me and I'll solve that one too.